well i guess we're gonna have to make do with this even though just ignore that giant like heavenly spot in the corner because in that moment you just know you'll never be the same Okay, so we're just gonna ignore that like heaven is like right there because it's so bright, but we're just gonna pretend that that isn't there. And if you hear a parrot in the back, I'm sorry, that's my dad's parrot, Koran. Um, yeah, I have a parrot named Koran. So I was like, what's a good video to film? Something good. I've been craving bread. Like I've been craving like some nice guanchitas or whatever. I'm too lazy to go down to the store and get some. So we're gonna make bread. We're also gonna make butter. <laughs> You're probably like, what the fuck? <laughs> what? Yeah. Bread? Yeah. We're not gonna make conchitas, cause, but like, I don't know how to fucking make it pink or whatever. We're gonna be making bread, okay? Like a loaf of bread and butter, and we're gonna try it. Hi, I'm Juan, by the way. It's very nice to meet you. I forgot to introduce myself. How rude of myself. That's Koran, right there. And she's like a version of a cockatiel, but she's not a cockatiel. Oh, also, if you're wondering why I'm sitting down, I don't have like this cute little setup. This is just my kitchen. We're making do with this little setup. I need to calm down. Oh, it's like a nice, relaxing video. I'm kind of like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, so this is the recipe. If y'all want it. Um, so I have like all my little materials right here. This is my salt, my water. Um, there's nothing in it, I promise. It's just a reflection of all that. Um, the oil, olive oil. Flour, you're gonna need a lot of flour. Measuring cups, a giant, giant bowl. Um, sugar, a spoon. It's like one of those little mixing thingies. I don't know, I forgot what they're called. Um, not like those pro ones, just like a little one. I really need to calm down. I know, I don't know what I'm going to Like, if you know me, like my friends at school, you know that I'm very loud. Yeah, I'm a very loud person. So, like, if you ever, like, see me, you're probably going to see me. You're going to probably, you're, first you're going to hear me before you see me. It's like, sometimes in the middle of math class and, like, everyone's quiet and I'm just like, so what'd you get for number three? Before we start anything, actually, what you're going to need is this thing called yeast. Make sure you get active yeast. Um, I don't know what it does to the bread. Oh, actually, I think it like grows the bread or something, but uh, besides that, I don't, know, I don't really know what it does. So just take your little paquetito of bacteria. So Twitter, if you don't follow me on Twitter, follow me. And um, my little micro. We're gonna put this for like, I don't know, like two minutes? Maybe less actually, but we're gonna put it in there. We're gonna want the water to be warm, not hot, just warm. I'm just literally chilling. It's Friday night, everyone's out. Um, I didn't work today, so I'm here making bread and butter. I'm home alone with the parrot and my dog. Kiki, it's also hot. I said warm and it's like huh, burning me. Um, yeah, finals are next week. Today's Friday, finals start on Tuesday. Um, oh, just pour, okay, so now just open your yeast and like put it in. And then grab your spoon and just mix it till it dissolves. You're just gonna leave it sit for like five minutes and um, oh, foam up. So we'll just put that right here for five minutes. Or I'll put it right here so y'all can like see it foam up, I guess. Oh my gosh, so this will probably be like a whole video on itself. But um, I had these bomb ass frijoles the day of my 15. Yes, I had like a full on 15, like a girl would have, but like for a version, like without the dress, just a tuxedo. But I had like everything else, like the damas, the DJ, the salon, the limo. Yeah. Um, but anyways, um, <laughs> anyways, after I just, yeah, I just had like a very big party. But anyways, um, it, the video won't be about the frijoles. It'll be like about the party, or, like experience or whatever. But anyways, those frijoles, I believe they're called, I don't know, I forgot they're called frijoles puercos or frijoles charros i don't know or if it's the same thing i don't know um but um those are my those turned out to be my most favorite frijoles in the whole world what a, oh okay a really big thing about me is that i will put crema on literally anything i put it in my rice i put it on my tacos i put it in my all my different meats that i eat i i put crema in my soup is I literally put crema, I'm not even joking guys, I put crema in everything. This was like a little chit chat thing, so I guess I'm gonna talk about like my life. Um, so I'm going to VidCon. <laughs> I've always wanted to go to VidCon because like, a thing about me is that I really love concerts. Like I love conventions, like I love the idea of you meeting someone that you idolize, like, like someone that inspires you, someone that you look up to. So like, 
So I was talking about VidCon, but I was kind of going to go into my concert addiction. But I'll talk about VidCon. So I've been wanting to go to VidCon. And then I saw, like, the whole Tana Mojo. I love Tana, by the way. I think she's the most funniest person in the whole world. Tana Mojo, if you don't know who Tana is, go type in Tana Mojo. Um, I love her. Love Joey and Miranda. When Tana said that she was going for 2019 VidCon, um, because her and VidCon made amends, I was like, okay, I'm going to tell my dad. And it's so, like, guys, like, the fact that my dad said yes is kind of weird to me. Like, hello? Okay. I really like working it in and out. <laughs> I feel like I'm just hopping from thing to thing. But yeah, I'm going to VidCon and I'm so excited. Um, I signed up for the lottery. I'm going to meet, hopefully, um, so I didn't know that VidCon was like a lottery. I thought you would just go and you see panels and you could meet whoever you want. Um, so I put Tana as my number one. So um, lottery closes next week and then in two weeks I find out who I will be meeting. Um, so now while your yeast is finishing and your water to getting ready, you're gonna pour in the dry ingredients. One and a half tablespoons of salt. One two thirds cup of sugar. Oh yeah, so I think the reason I started talking about VidCon was because I wanted to tell you guys that I want to buy a professional camera. Um, so I guess like the camera that most YouTubers use, I'm literally struggling guys. And it's full, it's like up to here. I don't know why I'm struggling, but I'm struggling. But anyways, I get distracted so easily, oh my god. Um, so this is one. Um, so I really want to get a G7X camera, because I guess that's the camera like that most YouTubers have, or like I see them have. And when I go to VidCon, I want to vlog. Yeah, I want to buy a G7X, so I'll probably be saving it for that in the past month and a half, like, in the next month and a half. And I'm just going to mix it. It's literally just dry ingredients up in this bee. I'm just mixing this. I'm going to be a senior in, like, I'm junior and junior year ends, like, in, what, a week? I'm really interested in, like, work, hopefully, pursuing something in, like, digital media or, like, social media. I'm all about positive vibes, always laughing. I go to a lot of concerts. That's one thing you should know about me. I'm at every single concert. Um, basically, once it gets kind of foamy, and there's, like, a foam there, you could just pour this in here and start mixing it up. Um, so my salt and sugar are in here, and I'm going to pour this right in there. Um, but I'm thinking AP Calculus next year. Um, I'm excited. I'm actually really excited. Everyone that's, like, being forced to take the AP Calculus class, um, because they finally have enough people in my school, um... They're like, oh my god, like, why are you excited? Like, it's so hard. Come on, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna struggle together. Like, the teacher's honestly, she's really, she's a really good teacher. Like, she really knows how to teach. So I have my little oil in this thing, and I'm just gonna put it in the one fourth cup, and I'll just put all this together. Put them aside. Um, I'll just mix this really quick before I put the flour. So I've always dreamed of going to UCLA, but I don't know if I'll ever be accepted into UCLA because my grades are not the best. Um, but I will still try my very hardest because anything I put my mind to, I know is possible. So now I'm gonna be adding one cup of flour at a time and mixing it in. I'm like, I I'm okay making bread, you know, having the time of my life. At this point, it's like really, um, not like battering. It's like a little bit more. It's gonna get really sticky, guys, like to the point where you're not gonna wanna keep on kneading. Just keep on kneading. Promise it does get better. Um, I think I'm gonna put this on the table now. Watch. Watch. Well, give me like a few like minutes, probably. That was gonna be so friggin' sticky. Like, super sticky pickles. And did you know that pickles are basically cucumbers and vinegar? Um, so I'm going to finish kneading this and I'll be back. Okay, so this is like 10 more minutes of kneading. I told you guys I would make it look perfect. Guys, okay, so it's finally like nice and like not sticky like to the point where it was earlier. I'm going to add olive oil all around this. And just put it in the bottom of the thing like and wet them with water so they can be nice and dense nice and covered from the top here now we're gonna let this sit for an hour we're gonna start making butter this is probably such a weird video for y'all basically all you literally need is this this is heavy whipping cream it's like milk literally milk um it's a little bit more thicker actually i don't know i want to try it it tastes like buttermilk. <laughs> um, and then you're just gonna start like that, so.
Um, so I'm setting my oven to 350 degrees. Make sure you take everything out of there because if you're Mexican and your parents find out that you burn something, you're dead. <laughs> and then grab your bread pans, non-stick spray, olive oil. Um, you want to grab that and just give that a quick. But yeah, I just like put this on there. Um, flattening. So I put the oven light on so you guys can see and it's kind of like already rising. Um, weird. It's like nice and crispy as you guys can see. And I did that fork trick that everyone like knows, like baking. Um, Cause I'm clear. So I'm gonna look for something to help me grab it cause I don't wanna like burn my hands. Alrighty guys, I feel like I've been filming this video, this video for like two hours now, but I literally finished the butter. This is all butter in here. Um, not lying, it's butter. Anything. Um, so I'm gonna go put this in the fridge. Hey guys, so this is how the bread came out. Um, I don't know. Usually, like, it would, you could you could make it into a loaf, but I decided to do like this weird like pizza shape. Um, and I'm gonna let that cool right there for like 15 minutes. But anyways, my bread is finished. I cut like a little end. Um, here it is, like little pieces. Um, it's still like cooling. And here's the butter. So we're finally gonna do like a little taste test or whatever. I know it's like the sugar adds like a good like flavor to it and like the salt. Um, but. Guys, this bread is so good. Oh my god. This bomb. Mm -mm -mm.